To replace a door gasket, the tools you'll need are a new gasket and a rubber mallet. The first step is to remove the old gasket. The easiest way to do this is by starting at the top and pulling the gasket straight out using needle nose pliers if necessary. You'll need to work your way to the corners, pulling down until it's completely removed. The next step is to install the new gasket. You'll need to find the seam of the gasket and place it at the top near the center. Begin with the top corners, pressing in the gasket. Work your way down to the bottom corners, evening out all the material around the door. Now that the corners are firmly in place with equal amounts of material on the top, bottom, and sides, press in the center areas between the corners. Continue to press in the centers of the bulging, non-seated gasket material until the gasket is in place. Once the gasket is in, now we need to seat it evenly. Take a rubber mallet and press the gasket in firmly all the way around. There are three main ways to tell if a door gasket is faulty. One obvious way is by looking at the gasket. If you see small nicks or cracks in the gasket, then you know it will need to be replaced. Another way of identifying whether a door gasket has gone bad or not is if the hub bottoms out on the door when you go to tighten it. The third way of determining whether or not the door gasket needs to be replaced is if you see any leaking steam in between the door and the end ring, anywhere along the top, sides, or bottom. Next, close your door and lock it down. Do this lockdown procedure a few times. Inspect your gasket after each time for gradual depressions on any material that was not fully seated in the groove. After a final inspection of the repair, you should be ready to put your unit back in service.